Hello everybody and welcome to another Bootleg Bonanza courtesy of the team over at Show Z. In today's video we're taking a look at the BW002 set by Deformed Auto Man aka Machine Boy. This is the Fast Pioneer set. Uh, this is their second set. This one includes the oversized version of Magic Square's Drag Strip and the oversized version of Magic Square's Dead End. Quick look around the box. That's it, let's crack them open. And here we have them both out of their plastic prison. Much like we've got with the Magic Square, Dead End's spoiler is packed separately. So I've left that off for now. These look fabulous, uh, absolutely incredible job. Uh, let's take a closer look at, uh, let's go with Drag Strip first. Really gorgeous colors. I love how vibrant that head sculpt is. Really nice choice of paint. You see, I've got a lot going on here though, like with sprue marks on both the wheels and on here. Probably get a little bit of that off by applying a bit of heat to it. But he does exactly what he needs to. Again, small bit on that leg there. Really nice oversized legends though. They've already teased their motor master. So it is definitely on the way, articulation-wise. So head up, down, left, and right. Shoulder mounts here, we can go up to the side. Upper bicep rotation, pivot on the elbow, rotation on the hands. Albeit they are incredibly hard to manoeuvre, but they do rotate nonetheless. Legs forwards, backwards, out to the side. Upper thigh rotation, bend on the knee and pivot on those toes. Uh, same can be said with Dead End. Absolutely adore his color scheme. Uh, the weapons are nice as well. Would have liked some kind of toy related weapons though. So the option is there to pin them onto the back of the cars if you choose to. Not actually a huge fan of doing that myself, but I like the options. Real solid looking bot. Again, absolutely nailing the head sculpts on these. Look at the uh, waist tilt there. Any tilts one way because that's due to the combined form. But uh, let's see how these look with the rest of their team. These are looking really good so far. Really looking forward to getting these fully combined up. Plastic again is high quality. I likened it very much to that of iron factories, although the joints do appear to be tighter on these. They might break down, had slightly loose hips. These ones don't have that issue at all. And because I don't have the Magic Square or the New Age version of Devastator, I still have my before and after Action Master version of Devastator. And I think that scale actually works remarkably well. Now remember, these are Legends Plus scale. They're designed to scale with the likes of the mech fan and of course the other previously released renditions from Machine Boy, not the likes of New Age and Magic Square. For example, the Legend scale, New Age Galvatron and the Zeta aerial bots, they just look far too small to be scaling with these. Now I'll cover transformation to vehicle mode as it's fairly straightforward. Just to remove the backpack slightly, allowing the arms to drop down to the side, just be mindful how my pin is slightly protruding from that joint. I need to get a little bit of heat and just kind of push that in slightly more. But the arms do drop down like so. And with those down, that now allows us to be able to bring this backpack piece upwards like so, just rocking that up. And then you see we've got this additional hinge on the underside here, that's going to come up and then the hinge is going to sit down like so. Arms slide inwards, arms slide in. There we go. Bonnet hood should, he says, just tab in. And 
there we go that's sort of in the best we're gonna get that definitely need to sort out that extended hinge and then much like we did with sliding the arms you want to just remove this tab here which allows the legs to kind of swing forwards and these are going to actually come uh, out like so there we go on that sliding hinge now we're going to bring these this way over the top this hinge rocks forwards and flattens off it's going to form the top half of the vehicle it's going to come down this will flatten as well so that's going to form the side panel this is going to go over the hand it's going to come up and it's a matter of uh, pegging these in this switches around to the side and then you've got this piece on the back here that just flips down and comes up so let's just uh, marry all of these up together there 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 we go that's in that's in that's in there we go you can probably pop the roof out a little bit more from the underside if you choose to and of course we do have space on the back there for these spoilers now you can have them mounted on robot mode there's nothing that says you can't but there we go it does kind of sit in there everything is tabbed in though it's just uh, not sitting incredibly straight I need to definitely have to poke something through on the other side there but there you go that is dead end and same with drag strip you want to just remove his weapons compress his arms the wheels are going to come out and up to the side out and up to the side rotate the hands so that they face outwards and outwards come around to the back this section here it's going to come up and flip and go up and over his head his wheels are going to slide outwards and it actually works incredibly well so you've got all this flex here gives you enough room to rotate these around and then spin that back in tabs in tabs in and tabs in come on in you go fabulous the waist rotates around like so these are gonna flip like so and around like so so that these can come in this goes up that goes up this is gonna come up to the back and up to the back and then these should he says collapse there we go in and the hands should just tuck out inside of those legs tabbing in like so wheels are in wheels are in and then just flip this section up and over and that's going to push hook and tab in there now he works a lot better and holds together a lot better in my opinion still not perfect but still a pretty good looking piece as long as everything is tabbed in as it should be so there we have it two more little luscious stunticons to add to our oversized army i'm really looking forward to getting a motor master now as well i'm going to transform these back up into their robot modes have them displayed like that until he arrives and then we'll do a fully combined video and see how he fares i will try and get a magic square version on loan maybe so we can compare them size wise etc but for now this is the dead end hand drag strip from machine boy courtesy of the team over at show z thank you all for taking the time out of your busy lives to watch my content and until next time for myself and the rest of the collectibles household 
Goodbye.